It's been 15 years since the Gurren Lagann anime was released to the public. 15 long years since I've experienced the power of kicking out logic. Just saying that, uh, time skip Yoko. Hey. I'm not exaggerating when I say that I've seen the anime at least seven times, including the movies, both English and Japanese dub. Today we're looking at the pop-up parade figures of the main trio, the founding fathers and mother of Team Daigurin, Communist Simone, and Yoko. There will be a bit of spoilers, so uh, proceed with caution. I'll be honest, when I first heard of this anime, I thought this guy's name was SIMON FUCKING Carol. But the real pronunciation gets a little weird. In Nihongo, it's pronounced SIMA! However, in good old American, it's pronounced This is SIMA! The statue itself is pretty decent. It perfectly captures the Gurren Lagann art style that we came to know and love. The core drill and team logo on the back are my favorite pieces on this figure, and the figure stands about this high and this wide. I doubt he'll take up much shelf space, but somebody... The hot-headed legend himself, founder of Team Gurren, Kamina is arguably the best character pre-time skip. For obvious reasons. God knows all of us need a great motivator like him, especially since we live in the 2020s right now. And just like Simon, this figure is also decent. This one comes with an alternative hairpiece that sports his signature pointy shades. The high detail work on the cape is actually pretty nice. His smile looks like something else though. It's also more prominent when you remove the hairpiece. He stands about this high and this wide. You might need some shelf space for him. And now we move on to the final member of the big three, the firecracker herself. I guarantee that she made a lot of people down bad in 07. Especially in the later episodes. A little funny side story, when I pre-ordered this on Almiyami, not sponsored, I uh, accidentally ordered two. <laughs> the figure itself is again real decent. This lively rendition of her does wonders for my loneliness. Her signature skull hair clip is done pretty well actually. Some cheaper Yoko figures I've seen tend to give up on that. Her pink stockings have a pearlescent shine to them. They could have gone with a flat look like the anime, but I'm happy they decided not to. Same goes for the chopsticks. One thing I do wish they added though, was her signature rifle. She stands about this high and this wide. Final thoughts? These figures aren't bad. They're perfect for a girl in the gun collector, or if you're a pop-up parade collector in general. They won't completely break the bank if you decide to get them for yourselves. Good luck with that, by the way. With that said, don't forget, Oh, you thought we were done? Not yet. I've got one more thing to show you. I picked this up a while back and it finally arrived at my door. And I gotta say, a dream of mine is to get this thing signed by all the voice actors. Impossible, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how the future goes.